Now, we were on the subject before of diplomatically dissuading either a patron or a government not to pursue a certain path. How does that work? If you're talking to a minister, uh, you know, you remind the minister that, that there are political risks involved in, in doing it, in addition to the, that, uh, that, that it's not a great idea from a substantive point of view that the minister imposes his or her will on, on that of an artistic organization or an artist, so it's just not a good idea fundamentally. But forget that. Uh, from the minister's point of view, there are political risks if, in fact, that word gets out and appears in the front page of, of uh, La Presse or the front page of the Globe and Mail. Uh, it's embarrassing for the minister, and it's probably better for the minister to keep their distance from that kind of stuff. And, and, uh, and usually ministers, I think, see the wisdom of that. Uh, usually? Usually. And, and, and when they and, usually are Well, and, and, and those who don't occasionally get burned. Uh, and they do get burned, and, uh, and particularly in Quebec, uh, if, if ministers try to, you know, try to get involved too much, they, they, they sometimes get burned. And they know that there are arm's length organizations like Arts Council there, not only protect, not only protect the artists and the arts organization, but also protect the politician. And, uh, and, and, and on most days they buy that. Uh, in terms of the donor, uh, you know, I I think there you 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 just remind them that that uh, they can get as much with a relationship with the artist as they can from from uh, getting involved in what the artist is trying to do. And so, hanging out with hanging out with Pinkus Zuckerman is probably almost as good as as trying to tell Pinkus Zuckerman uh, what he should be doing creatively. And and they mostly buy that too. <laughs> Listen, as I said, I live in the world. I live in a world of, of constant ambiguity, and, uh, and 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 you have to have some tolerance for that ambiguity. Does this mean, in the overview, that the role of arts councils, whether on a provincial or municipal or a federal level, are weakened, are less important to keeping culture rolling? In Canada. No, I think in fact they're, they're, if anything, even more important these days. In, in uh, the, the, I think the, the role of the Ontario Arts Council, with which I'm quite familiar, or the Canada Council, are, are very, very important to, to organizations. But, but what's, what has to be recognized is that there are tangible limits to the role that they can play. For example, um, uh, one of the things the National Arts Center wants to do as its next major, uh, next major strategic priority is an emphasis on creation, creation in theater, music, and dance, Canadian, new work by Canadians. There is relatively little emphasis given by provincial uh, arts councils or by the Canada councils on the idea of creation. There's lots of emphasis given to artists. Uh, supporting money for uh, arts organizations. But, but if you're looking for things like creation, which is, to me, should be a major priority of a country like Canada, uh, you have to look for some other places to do that. And Sorry, and creation. Do you mean for the playwright, for the new ballet, for the, is that I, kind of I'm, I'm, I'm talking creation entirely about new Canadian works whether that is done by the choreographer, uh, whether that is done by the composer, whether it's the, the playwright, <coughs> or whether it's done by those artists in conjunction with an arts organization, but new work. That new work could be War Horse by the National Theater in London, it could be Matilda by the Royal Shakespearean, uh, uh, but it could be Klinghoffer or, or, uh, or Nixon in China by, you know, as an opera, but new works uh, as opposed to interpreting uh, existing work, and art, arts councils tend not to to actively support that. They support the, the they they provide the, the basics for arts organizations. So if you want to go to other steps, you have to find other sources of revenue. And uh, and one of the things we're doing right now is raising money all across the country. Uh, to see if, uh, if in fact, we can put an investment fund together uh, for creation. 
a major, a major sum of money uh, that, uh, that would be there for artists and arts organizations all across the country to dip into. Uh, we might invest in 15 or 20 projects a year. I mean, we're, this is serious amounts of impact. Uh, but there you would look for Arts Council money as part of it and this other money right. in addition to it. So this is the world of, of you, you, have, you have Arts Council money and it's really important, but you also need to find a whole bunch of other ways to generate revenue. A, couple, a number of years ago, I thought looking, looking at some of the, uh, some of the, the, the schedules of some of the regional theaters or some of the theaters in Canada, I was in despair. I was just in despair. And I thought, well, if I was a billionaire, what would I do? And I thought I would start a risk fund. And I would go to Canada Council and say, okay, I'm underwriting a risk fund here. And this fund is only for a, a theater to apply to if they're going to take on a writer or a ballet or a piece of music that has incredible artistic risk. So they could, you know, get their regular funding, but I, this risk fund would cover that exposure they felt that they would risk their audience base too. Because okay. and, what, and what we're talking about is the front end of that. What, what we're talking about is the seed money necessary, the kind of expense you're going to have in putting it together, workshopping it, doing all those kinds yep. of things, taking the chances on it, uh, bringing in a full orchestra, bringing in a cast of <coughs> 14, doing a show that has is not a two-hander, but has 16, 16, you know, it's, it, that's all what it's about. And so what you're talking about is very similar to what we're, what we're saying. But to go back to the, the Arts Council, you have to work hand in hand. The Arts Council, right. I think the Arts Council is more important than ever. Uh, and, and I'm hoping that Simone Bro at, 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 at the Canada Council and that Peter Caldwell at the Ontario Arts Council uh, actually persuade their governments to be more generous in terms of putting money in. And in terms of, again, the, the world of the arts and the world of Canada, in the, in the terms of risk and undertaking risk, whether it's Wajdi Mua doing a play about forests and there's 18 people and 14, do you think the appetite for risk and to engage risk in programming and seeing as an audience do you think the arts groups are the leaders or do they wait to see the appetite for risk in the broader culture who will come and sit in the seats? No, I think, I think the artists have to be the leader in that. I, I think there's, there's either a passion for it or I think the artists have to lead society, not the other way around. So if the community is saying, no, no, I, I want to go and see another version of Sherlock Holmes, and I, and I love Sherlock Holmes, and I want to see another version of Christmas Carol, and I want to, if the community says, well, that's where we're going, Irregardless, we should say, that's good, please do that, but take this risk, take that as well. That's up to look, us. The, look, the, 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 I, I, think, I think the great artists are by definition contrarians uh, and, uh, and have, to, have to persuade uh, audiences and artists to follow them in, 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 in directions that may seem to be contrarian. Uh, and, uh, and I think the good and hopefully the great arts organizations do the same thing, that that you go in you go in different directions. And uh, the the idea of the National Arts Center championing creation uh, here in the year 2014 strikes a lot of my colleagues at the National Arts Center as kind of you know quixotic. Why 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 are you doing that? I mean we got so many other things to do. And I say look. We are the national performing arts center in the country, and if we don't have an obligation to create new Canadian works in theater, music, and dance, who the hell does? Uh, and and it's not as if the country has a stellar uh, track record. We we punch way above our weight in terms of Canadian fiction, yeah. uh, in terms of new work, and and uh, and we do way a bunch above our weight in comedy. But in terms of the performing arts, we, uh, we punch below our weight and it's time for Canada to kind of step up.